Okay, this is the setup for the Wi-Fi power pack for Windows. Now you should have your printer and your TP-Link set up like this. The TP-Link's uh, Ethernet cable should be connected to the printer and the USB should be connected to the uh, PC. Like this. Make sure that you have a steady light on the TP-Link. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, into the network and we're going to look for star Wi-Fi. Okay, so you'll find star Wi-Fi and you connect to it. Okay. Now we're going to uh, open up a browser. It could be any browser you like. And we're going to type in 192.168.0.0.0. Okay. It's going to ask for a username and password. It's going to be admin and admin. Click OK. Okay, this page should open up. Now what you want to go to is Quick Setup. Of course, Next. Client. Next. Okay, we're going to go to Survey right here in the middle. And we're going to uh, connect to the network that you want to use your TP Lincoln printer. Okay. Okay, and you're going to type in the password of that network. Okay, and also make sure that your security options are, are correct. Uh, hit next. Then uh, reboot. Okay. Uh, you might uh, have a progress screen here. In, in, uh, in mine, I don't have a progress screen, but if you don't, or if you do, um, it shouldn't be a problem. You should be uh, waiting to get this particular um, thing to pop up right here, which is congratulations. Uh, you know, and uh, it's restarting. Now you want to give it a moment to you know to reboot, restart. Okay, then we're going to close this browser. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to, of course, we're going to get on to the, uh, the network that we, um, that we set up in the TP-Link interface on the web browser. Now we want to do a self-test on the printer. And to do a self-test on the printer, you turn off the printer. And uh, while it's off, you hold down the feed button. Then you turn it on and hold the feed button until it starts printing. If you have the, seven, the SP700, you'll hold it until it beeps. Then you'll let go and uh, it should print out two sheets. We're interested in the second sheet. On the second sheet, it has a MAC address on top that we're interested in and the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. We need to take, take note of those. And next, what we're going to do is we need to uh, go uh, into Telnet. So we need to first check if Telnet client is uh, uh, selected. So hit uh, Start, then Control Panel, go to Programs, and right here, Turn on Windows Features. Turn Windows Features on or off. We have to wait a couple moments while it's uh, you know generating. Okay, we're just going to check if the Telnet client is checked. So we're going to scroll down, and here our Telnet client is checked, so that's good. So we're going to click OK. Now go back to Start. Now in the search bar, type in CMD for the command line. So we want the command prompt. OK, and here we're going to type in Telnet space and the IP address from the printout at the bottom of the page. Okay, now the login is going to be root. The password is public. Okay, we want to click one, we want to hit one. Uh, one again. 
and one again. Now this is when we need the information from the, the bottom of the, the printout. We're going to type in the IP address from the bottom of the printout. Okay, press enter. Now hit two. Enter. Now we're going to type in the subnet mask from the printout, from the bottom of the printout. Uh, enter. Now uh, type three and enter. And we're going to type in the default gateway from the bottom of the, the printout. Okay. Now we're going to type 99. 99 again. Now be careful here. Type in 98. Now one, because we want to uh, save and restart the device and and configuration uh, printing. So we're going to wait for a little bit, and it's going to say you know connection to host lost. And what's going to happen is uh, your printer will print out the second sheet again, but instead of saying um, DHCP on it. It will say um, static. I hope this video was helpful. However, if you have any more questions or concerns, please visit our website or contact us at 1-800-782-7636, option 3.